Good morning, we're going to Panama. Hi you guys, welcome to this week's episode. I just got to Panama not too long ago. I'm here because my friend from college, she's getting married on Sunday. So today's Friday. We landed uh, like a little bit ago and then we had like issues. We had like a whole adventure with the hotel, but we finally made it. I just finished getting ready because we're gonna go downstairs because we haven't had lunch. So we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat because we're starving, but we do have dinner in two hours with a couple of friends. And then I think we're gonna go out maybe depending on how the mood goes, but I am just so excited because I get to see a lot of my friends from college and then obviously the wedding, it's gonna be so much fun. So this is, what this week's vlog is going to be about, just the weekend in Panama, the weekend at the wedding. I am definitely not going to vlog a lot about the wedding just for privacy reasons. And it's it's her wedding, you know, it's not my wedding. So I'm not gonna publish a whole vlog on somebody else's wedding, that's rude. But everything leading up to, you guys will see the prep. I'm with Roberto, who doesn't wanna say hi. And then, <laughs> now we're gonna go downstairs. So welcome to this week's episode. I don't know what to I do. I think he's just I had an exam tomorrow just and like my freaking anxiety out. We broke up and I'm pretty sure she was talking shit about things that I ought to get a I do from my bed today. But they make fun of me. I feel like I wish I could go back in time and change things. And yeah, that's what I would do. Just don't quote me on that. Good morning guys today is the day of the wedding it's finally here it's sunday we woke up a little bit early this morning we went to go grab some breakfast downstairs we had brunch and i just got my hair done fun fact i absolutely hated how it turned out the hairdresser came and i had sent him like inspo pictures like this okay like this is what i wanted and then when i looked at myself in the mirror i had a horn on the top of my head like the bun was super high up and you could see like the bun here but it was like not like a full round bun it was more like a like a horn of just like hair like like this if that makes any sense but I looked at myself and I was like I have an egg on the top of my head so I called my mom freaking out I was like I have no idea what to do and she was like find like another hairdresser like try to figure it out um she was like no it looks good and I was like no like I don't like it Roberto obviously he was like it looks good and I was like no like I don't like it so I disassembled it like I took all the bobby pins out I took the hair tie out and I like I redid it myself Roberto was helping me it was so funny my mom was on FaceTime and she was like 
like put a pin here and Roberto was like how like how do I put a pin he didn't know how bobby pins worked it was so funny but finally got it I honestly think it looks pretty good for the fact that I did it myself and I don't do hair ever so that's done now I just need to iron all of our clothes iron my dress and that's it like I need to do my makeup in about like 40 minutes or like an hour I need to start doing my makeup because that's gonna take a while and then we have to go drop off the wedding gift at her house like the bride's house and then we'll meet up with friends before um, just to have like a drink and take pictures and then we'll head out to the wedding because the wedding's like at 5 p.m. But they told us to get there at 4.30 and we're like 30 minutes away-ish. So we don't have too, too, too much time. I did not vlog anything yesterday, but that's just because we were extremely hungover from the night before. We literally stayed like all day in our room. We left at like 6 p.m. to go to Casco Viejo, which is like the old part of the city. We walked around for like an hour or two. And then we had date night. We went to Mai Mai, which is a sushi restaurant. Super yummy and now wedding day. So sorry that I didn't film yesterday, but we were literally just dying in the hotel <laughs> and, and then date night. I think I vlogged date night. I don't know if I did. I might have. I don't know. I was really tired yesterday, like literally zombie mode all day long. Now we need to pull through, go to the wedding. We need to, oh, we also have to pack our suitcases because we leave for the airport. We have to get to the airport at 5 a.m. and the wedding ends at like 4 a.m. So we're not going to sleep and we're going to go to the airport in our wedding dresses. It's a whole adventure, so <laughs> welcome to wedding day. Guys, I'm the worst just in el bar. Our friends are here. We're going to the bar. Is the bar closed? Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, bueno, pero ya están allá. We're going to the wedding. This is a little outfit. Makeup. Sí. No bar. Okay, ladies, get ready for a little motivational pep talk. Let's just recap really quickly for the weekend in Panama and the wedding. The wedding was such a beautiful ceremony. I obviously cried. Like, who doesn't cry at weddings? It was a great time. We had such a good time. Friday, especially, seeing all of my friends from college. I got way too excited, had way too much fun. And then Saturday, we just rotted at the hotel. And Sunday, which was the day of the wedding, I wanted to get a lot more, like, prep content and just show you guys, like, us getting ready and me like doing my makeup and everything but I was filming it on TikTok so I couldn't really get it on like my phone for don't quote me on that but that's fine anyways we had the best time the wedding was such a good time Monday morning we had to fly out at 7 a.m we were all just destroyed on that flight like everybody from the wedding like everybody from Babson like all of my college friends we all pulled up at the airport at the same time and you should have seen everybody's faces like some people were wearing sunglasses like just don't look at me <laughs> honestly the flight back was epic like seeing everybody's faces just like I'm dying <laughs> like but we had a good time and now I'm back in Miami back into routine and I could honestly use a little motivational pep talk and I'm sure that you could also use a little motivational pep talk so here it is because this episode is for baby steps big dreams so anything that has to do with school our careers and hey, the most important thing about your future and your life, whether it be academic, whether it be the job that you want to get after college, whether it want to be the college that you want to get into, the moral of the story here is that you got to make it happen. 
It's your responsibility to build that dream life. The things that you want, whether it be literally to be a healthier person and establish a healthy routine, or whether you want that six-figure job, or whether you want to make it into the varsity team, or literally anything that you want, it's your responsibility to make it happen. And a lot of the times, like I fell into that trap so much in high school, college, and I still do sometimes of just waiting for it to happen and just thinking that if you wait like long enough, it's eventually going to happen for you. Things just don't happen to you that often, you know, like whenever you see somebody that's really successful or they have the things that you want, I promise you that on the other end, they worked really hard to get to where they are. Obviously, there are some very few cases where things are literally handed down to people, but most of us, most of us are going to have to work for the things that we want. And like I said, it can be something as big as like your dream life, your dream job, your dream career, or it can be as simple as like, I want to start eating healthier. And I want to start exercising more. Anything that you want, it's your job to make it happen. Nobody is going to hand it to you. Nobody is going to give it to you. It's your responsibility at the end of the day. And the trap that sometimes we fall into is blaming like other people or other things for the fact that it's not happening. So like, for example, something that's happened to me recently is that I want to go to the gym in the mornings before work, which means that I need to wake up at 6 a.m. And I do. I wake up, but I live at home, as most of you guys know. So a lot of the times, like most mornings, I will wake up and then I go to my mom's room and she's asleep. And I'm like, let me just cuddle my mom for like five minutes or I talk to her because she wakes up when she like hears me moving around and getting ready and everything. And she's like, oh, like, do you want to cuddle for like five minutes? And then I end up falling asleep for an hour and a half and not going to the gym. And at the beginning, I was getting mad at her. I was like, you have to stop cuddling me in the morning. Like you cannot tempt me into cuddling in the morning because I will not go to the gym and I will like sleep for an hour and a half or like two hours. Like you cannot do that. So I was blaming the fact that I wasn't waking up early and that I wasn't going to the gym on the fact that my mom wanted to cuddle for like five minutes or on the fact that I would want to cuddle my mom for five minutes. And recently I've been thinking about it and I'm like, it's your fault, girl. Like if you want to go to the gym, you get up. It's not like my mom is like strapping me down and like kidnapping me and telling me not to go to the gym. It's my fault for being a lazy ass who would rather just like be in bed cuddling her mom than go to the gym. But if it's a goal of mine and it's something that I want to do, I need to do it. Like I'm the only person responsible for making it happen. And it's just a lot easier to blame other people or other things around you. It's easy to just say like, oh, I don't have enough time because I'm busy with this or my friends take up a lot of my time or my relationship takes up a lot of my time or I'm just very tired because of this and that. Like, It's very easy to find excuses and blame exterior things and try to justify why we're not getting things done. But if you want to do something, it's up to you. You have to build your dream life. You have to build those habits that you want to establish. Another example of something that I've been wanting to do recently, I want to, I've never had a morning skincare routine. Like I've never done that in my life. I've always had a nighttime skincare routine, which sometimes I honestly get lazy and I just take my makeup off and brush my teeth and call it a day. But I've mostly and historically had a nighttime skincare routine, but I've never had a skincare routine in the morning, right? So recently I've been like, okay, I want a morning skincare routine. Guess what? In order to do that with going to the gym and having to take my dog out and give him breakfast in the morning and then having to drive to work, which I start work like at a normal early hour of the day. If I want to give myself like 20 minutes to do my morning skincare routine, I have to wake up 20 minutes earlier. And that's like, I'm the only person that can do that. If I want to do it, I'm responsible for it. And I need to wake up earlier and I can find all of the excuses in the world that I want. But at the end of the day, the truth is that the reason I'm not doing it is because I'm not waking up early enough. So big or small, tangible or intangible, whatever it is that you want, you're responsible for it and you got to get your ass up and do it. Honestly, that's the truth. And it sucks because it does require a lot of work. But things don't come easy. Things that are good, 
long lasting, big things take a lot of work. They take a lot of time. And that just comes along with like being disciplined. But it's really understanding that it's a responsibility. You can build your dream life. It's not just going to get handed to you. No one's going to say, hey, here you go. Here's everything that you have ever wanted. Boom, you have it. No, the people that have everything they've ever wanted is because they worked their ass off to get everything they've ever wanted. Like I said, big or small. An example of something small recently, like living at home, living in Miami, it's been very hard to eat healthy (laughs) for me. It's been very hard because there's so many good restaurants. There's so many good food. I have a lot of access to so many desserts and so many like good restaurants that have pasta and pizza and like unhealthy things. And my weakness is junk food and unhealthy food. And I love it. When I was living in Boston and in college, I lived in the town near campus. I wasn't like in the city, city of Boston. And in the town of Wellesley, that's what the town is called, Wellesley. There's not a lot of things like in the town, you know, like there's, I don't think there's like one restaurant that I could tell you, oh my God, it's so good. Like there's a couple of restaurants, they're good, but there's nothing crazy, you know, like it's a, it's a little town. So I was eating pretty healthy because I was cooking a lot at home and I was making my own meals. So I decided what I wanted to eat. Whenever I would go grocery shopping, I wouldn't buy snacks or candy or things like that just so that I wasn't munching on them because I know that if if I see them, like if I see on the menu churros, I'm going to get them. Like I will, I have no self-control when it comes to food. I love food, I love eating. So an easy way for me in Boston just to make sure that I was eating healthy was buying healthy food. And like I said, if I wanted to go to a lot of restaurants, I would have to drive into Boston, which was like a 25 or 30 minute drive. And I wasn't gonna do that. So now living in Miami, which is a big city with so many good restaurants and a lot of good food. I was telling my mom that the other day. I was like, holy crap, like I just have so much access to food. And she was telling me that she was like, it's not the restaurant's fault. You know that, right? Like it's not the fact that it's on the menu. That's the issue. It's the fact that you pick it. Like you're the one that chooses. It's your choice. It's your decision. If you want to order the steak with rice or if you want to order the chicken with broccoli or if you want to order all of the like junk food that you eat and obviously I'm not saying like you have to eat super healthy like trust me I I love eating unhealthy I love my pasta so good the other day I devoured a huge bowl of pasta but my point is that it's your choice that it's your responsibility if you want to do something or not and A goal of mine has always been to eat as healthy as I can. I definitely don't deprive myself from anything. If I want to eat the dessert, I will eat the dessert. If I want to eat the fried Oreos, I will eat the fried Oreos. But I always just try taking care of myself. So I try eating as healthy as I can. But if I want to eat healthy, that's my responsibility. It's my choice. It's not the temptations around me. So I was blaming Miami for the fact that I don't feel healthy in the way that I've been eating. I was blaming the restaurants. It's not the restaurant's fault. Like my mom said, it's my choice. So that was just an example to show you that you can't blame external things. It is your responsibility to get the things that you want, to be the way that you are. If you want to do something, it's up to you. It's up to you. Anything, big or small, like I said, up to you. So that's a little pep talk that I wanted to give you guys because it's definitely a pep talk that I need right now for all of the things that I mentioned. I want to go to the gym early. I this is this is a motivation for me to do that tomorrow and get up, not blame my mom for cuddling me. I want to start eating healthier again because I like eating healthy. It's not the restaurant's fault. I need to make better choices. I want to establish a morning routine. Well, I need to wake up earlier. That is my decision. Recently, I've also been feeling like a little like meh when it comes to TikTok and like my growth and my engagement, things like that. So if I want to grow more, well, I need to dedicate a lot more time to filming more videos and I need to be more disciplined about it and I can't get lazy with it and I need to post more. Like it's, it's only going to happen if I make it happen. So 
that was my little self-motivation, <laughs> but it, I also hope that it motivates you in anything that you're doing, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, whether you already graduated, whether you want something really, really big or whether you want something very small and very simple, it's up to you. You got to make it happen. You got to build your own dream life. So make it happen. Get your ass up and make it happen. And I'm going to get my ass up and make it happen. And that was it. So I will see you guys next week.